I'm cute though. <laughs> y'all know I ain't lying. Yes, sir. Y'all, welcome to Bad With Y'all. It's about to be phenomenal. It's about to go down, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> yes, sir. Happy Mondays, everybody, y'all. Do me a favor, like, share, share, and press that subscribe button. Welcome to Bad With Y'all. Big job about to be on the night. Wow. Wow. We about to get Wow. Yeah. 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 Hey, who the holy bite, boy? Who the holy bite? You be in it, boy. Who the holy bite? You be in it. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Look at us. Yeah, who the holy bite? Yeah, you back. I'm back. Wow. Yeah, you back. I'm back. Yeah, you back. Well, see, the truth of the matter is, people don't know that we are now. We've been. This has been going on for a year. I actually bought Hood and Holy from you. you well, bought it from me. Yeah, I did. Me. It's, I a, it's in, a, I, I bro. Don't maybe call the lawyer, okay. dog. We already. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's already you in contract, it dog. From me. Yeah, like, I bought it from you because you weren't doing nothing with it. So get what? I'm about to put it back, dog. It's gonna be in the lobby of Encounter Sunday Hood and Holy. Get your get your free oh. not free. Oh, get yeah. your. For sale. <laughs> for sale. Get your funds right. Get your funds right. Get your funds right. Get your funds right. Yeah. Okay. Who the holy dog is back? Wow. Everybody has it on. Brandy, Shakira. Oh, this looks amazing. It does. I'm excited. You know, I, I was doing something with it, but you know, God. Mm. You a lie. What? I, you a lie. Got kind of. No, like, you a lie. Story. No, you a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Don't call. Don't put God in irresponsibility. Don't put God in irresponsibility. Don't put God in irresponsibility. It was an idol, so God had to take it, and then He gave mm. it back. Well, ain't no idol. Me is money to me. <laughs> It is not God. Now, it's gold. Now you know. Now you know. I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Hey man, we settled them up, huh? Rest of the year. I'm rest of the year. Home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay then. Yeah, I give you a little profit from it though, cause you can't drop the ball. Somebody gonna, somebody gonna pick it up, dog. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop the ball this time. My manager. I got a new manager. Yes. But the, they uh -oh. thought you were my manager. Oh. I ain't no, no. You gotta choose, bro. You gotta choose, nah, bro. You gotta choose, dog. She trying to. Good. Because I already know y'all, y'all like close friends. So you no. you gonna lean toward the left? No, let me. No. She's actually leaning towards the right. She doesn't. She doesn't. I have to call her about my brand. She she already you know put yours. You know she got yours together. Oh, your brand. It's the shrugs. Yeah, right? I mean she don't really do it at Holy Right, but. Wow, I don't do it right. But now that I'm the owner. Yeah, that's the, really why. Why do we keep saying owner? Why do we keep saying owner? Stop moving your hand like this. Why do we keep saying owner? Stop, stop moving your hand like, like this like you're owner? not aware of this. Like stop, not stop. Like you're partners, but you're the owner. Yeah, yeah, I don't think about I don't like partnership. Wow. I, 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 I don't so like you this. took it from me, basically. No, 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 no. I was more responsible. That doesn't I mean you. No, no, I valued it more. <laughs> Oh, I wow. saw That's potential in it, and you dropped the ball because you were nice. while you were in process. I was processing <laughs> it <laughs> to make funds. So now, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen, and wow. nothing changes. It's gonna be the same fun, same That's style. Crazy. Because crazy. I'm for the people. That's crazy. You've been asking for it, and That's it's here. Crazy. I'm talking about full effect, people. America, I know you've been wanting some hood and some holy. Wow. But I'll tell you it's back. This is campaign wow. Yeah. Yes. I'm Definitely. telling you it's back. You, you, right. you, you've been wanting someone to, to, to represent you that understands your pain and understands your process. Well, I've not, I have come to let you know. I'm very confused. Hood and holy is back. It's the hood and holy, man. And, I'm, and, for, and yeah, the, first, the, mayor of and, holy, and the first ten people that go to the table. What, you what? gotta pay full price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, listen. I took, I took my process and just ran with the brand. Wow, I was in process. I mean, That's what I'm saying. Hear That's me. The real story. The real story is if you if you let go of what God gives you, He'll give it to someone else that values it better. That's my. I value it. I if you love drop it. your dream, don't don't ever think it's gonna die. God will just give it to somebody else. Well, thank God I have grace because that's still it's still. Weird. First of all, I don't even say grace no more. I'm too grown for that. I don't it's even know. I don't even say grace no more. I'd be too hungry to say the grace. 
Okay. And probably why I'm starting to get choked up a little bit. I, yo, I was eating salad today, and I didn't chew it all the way, and a long piece of lettuce was oh. like stuck in my throat, oh and my I had God. and I had to say, Hallelujah! I, I had to get. I had to. <laughs> Man, I'm like that real. I'm that happy. For me. I'm I'm telling you. I believe you. this. Man, let's go to commercial. Let's make some money, y'all. Y'all good? Yes. Great. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Hallelujah. Bye. I didn't do this before we uh, went to commercial. How are y'all doing? Awesome. All is well. Phenomenal. Correct. So you had to do, you got to have to, you got to get it good. Yes, oh, I love it. Good. It's the two tone, honey. Good. It was a mistake. But it, it, it was a mistake. I guess it ended up. What happened with it? Out. It's cute. It was supposed to be more blonde and more ombre, like like darker Aww. into the blonde. But it's, it's, it's nice. cute, honey. Thank that's you. the thing about yeah, the man. color. The color just color no, no. That's the thing about God. He can make a mess, oh, a message. Gee, okay. and he gave you a message with your with your hair. A mess, a mess. What was the mess? Yeah, just flow with me, that. Okay, okay. <laughs> just flow with me. You don't ask questions, man. Just, I'm just trying to be encouraging. Oh, okay, okay. But it looks good. It's nice. Thank you. Yes, we love it. And mm. oh wow, this your hair looks good. What's happening right now? You didn't have that for four weeks straight. I did. I'm ready to get my hair done. <laughs> She's actually. But why don't you do it? Side. I don't do my own hair. Why not? Mm -mm. Ain't it cheaper? I just do hair all the time. I don't want to do my own. That's a good. That's point. yeah. Who wants to do that? That's own a good. Hair? You know that sounds like that sounds like you know I'm a teacher. I don't want to teach my own kids. That's not. That's the not same. the same. Doing your hair by that's a lot on your own. <laughs> Doing your hair on your own. And it is a lot. Yeah, women. It's a lot. And having to yeah. see. You want to go to. You want the experience. You want to go to the hair salon and yeah. sit back and I just. I give myself a good service. Yeah. I'm working hard. I'm mad. Mm. <laughs> how, much, how much you know I'm going to get your hair done? Ooh. Right. Yeah, I pay a lot. Stop. <laughs> Who you go to? You, you don't want to buy nothing? I went to my hood friend, so I got to help oh, for the love this time. Oh, snap. What, about $80? It was about $80. They try, they don't try, they try to write on the 100 so you can come. So about $60 or $80. So, I mean, $80? That, that sounds like, like a, 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 a bootleg, sir. Yeah, that's what the hood, the hood folks charge $80. But yeah. the hairstyle be five, though. It be five? They, they never go over 100 Why? You know? Cause you know the they hood yeah hood people not hood gonna go over a hundred they only go right underneath because they know you make and what but but now you all are now you are you know kind of communicating a message you know concerning our people and you now you're moving it's, into some biases so what makes them hood uh -oh. oh lord uh -oh. well well she actually hood for real <laughs> but uh, so you keep doing it you keep perpetuating okay, you keep perpetuating the agenda yeah. to categorize our people that one no I'm about one this person. one person. <laughs> You keep pushing this narrative uh -huh. that our people are hood. Come so on, what, Black what makes you, what is the, what is the queen. definition of hood? Come on, queen. What is, what is, what is what's the right, definition queen. of hood, my sister? Come on, queen. Tell us. What's the definition of hood, my sister? Queen what makes queen. her hood, my sister? The only thing you got to say is grand rising. They kill me with that. Father, no, don't hood people me. don't do that. Black folk be doing that. that don't grand, don't that text me no. Don't text me no grand rising. Grand dog. rising kills oh, God, me. No. Please don't, don't DM me grand don't rising. Don't don't text me that. I'm a, I'm a, I make that shout. Yeah, I don't, that is. Sweet. Yeah, I don't what like that. Crazy. I don't like that. What what religion be doing that? that that's that um. What is that? Yeah. Hebrew Israelites and a couple other ones. Yeah. yeah. Grand rising, my queen. Yeah, don't don't do that. I don't, no. What? No, don't do that. All right, man. All right, y'all. Chris, what would you do? Okay. Oh, look at me, I'm thirsty. Okay, so this What Would You Do segment is called It's Only a Number. I'm a 44-year-old woman. Yep. <laughs> and I, and I, Sorry. <laughs> my relationship. Sorry. Oh, I've been in, no. Sorry. And I've been in my relationship for <laughs> Sorry. two years. <laughs> yeah. I, it's over stuff. I've never been married, nor have I ever had children, but I've always wanted to. I met my fiance at a club when I was out with some of my girlfriends. And I mean, it was like love at first sight. Now, my friends thought it was a bad idea for me to get involved with him once I found out his age. But I tried to tell them that, one, he didn't tell me the truth the first time. And two, 
They would never understand. It's like we were a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. We love to do the same things. Our conversation is elevated, and he's always so mature for his age. At first, he told me he was 32, which was still a little young for me. But because of our relationship, I looked past it, and he was already, and we were already eight months in. Well, recently, he asked me to meet his family since we are planning to get married soon. He introduced me to his parents and his sister, and they were super surprised at my age when I told them I was 44. Mm. When I told them, his mom left the dinner, and we haven't had a great relationship since. His dad said that since he was 23, they were not going to accept oh! our relationship. I told oh! him I didn't know that he was 23 and 23? that I was sorry. Oh! I, although I had my thoughts, I guess I was blinded by love. He said he still <laughs> wanted to marry me no matter what his family thought and that he was committed to me and our marriage. Although I've been feeling badly, I'm in love and I just found out that I'm pregnant. His parents called me and said that they would give me anything I wanted if I left their son alone. <laughs> they said they didn't care about the money. They just wanted to secure his future. I told, I told them that that was not an option and he would have to make his final decision. I, I spoke with one of my closest friends who told me that I was sick for even considering marrying a 23 year old or having a baby by him. Mm. And after that conversation, I started to have regrets. I'm in love, but I don't want to ruin his future trying to complete mine. What would you do? Oh, 23 and 44. He's a liar. She's. A well, that's what you do at 23. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that, that, it ain't his fault. He did what he's supposed to do. That's what, you, that, that's what you do at 23 years old. You lie. So that's not, it's not on him. He's oh, a kid. He's a kid. That's a kid. All right. Pregnant at 44. But, dog. That in itself. She going to have to keep that baby. It's no more. But, dog. Yeah, she going to have to keep it. Yeah. Ooh. I, Ooh. This is a tough one. No, it ain't. <laughs> What's the answer? Tell us. I can't say it on this platform. Okay. Mm. But for the sake of the platform, um, you've just messed up his life. Yeah, mm -hmm. you messed up his life. But but she didn't know. Yeah. Thirty two is not but bad from forty four. Thirty two right. is even that's a that's a stretch. It's like a all right, cool, no problem. <laughs> now now typically now hold it's on different now. The other way. It's a, yeah, a, a, that's, if yeah. he was 44 and yeah. she was 32, that's like perfect. Yeah. But so what? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> that's perfect. But she's 44 but, and he's 23. But she didn't know. So now. He did not know, though. He, maybe he, he probably looks. He, that's not the point. The point is she <laughs> said she didn't know. Yeah. She said she didn't know. She said she didn't she know. She was surprised. So she what do you do? Do you, do you have the baby? Have the baby. Now. I'll say, mm. if you decide to have the baby, mm -hmm. then he has to make the adjustments. Yeah. Because he's the one that lied. Yeah. At 23, now you start to see there are consequences of your actions. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is not on her. This is more so of if you decide to have the baby, you have to know that he's a 23 year old father. He ain't got nothing. I'm pretty sure she's financially well, yeah, yeah. but we can't necessarily spare him. Mm -hmm. he, he lied. lied. He lied. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about lies. He lied. That's a real, that's a lie lie. Yeah, that's a lie lie. That, that's what you call a lie lie. You don't give them one lie. You lie lie. lie. Double lie. Yeah, you, you lie lie. Yeah, that was that. Yeah. Right. So so, but get this: you got a baby to take care of. I don't yeah. care how I don't care how much mama make. You got a baby to take care of, mm -hmm. so you need to take your butt to the military, get a job, A, B, C, and D, something. because now you can. Because this is what's gonna happen now. Now that he found, when he finds out he has a baby, he's going to. Well, I'm only 23. Yeah. Nope. Absolutely. You are now a parent, You're my parent. guy, and I don't care if she's a millionaire. You got to take care of a child. That's, yep. That's on you. You should have thought about that. There, there, there are consequences to all of our actions. And you can't say, well, she got money. You take care of the kid. Absolutely not. I'm dropping the kid off to Hello. you <laughs> this date. But did y'all see that just happened, too, to somebody in the media? Um, did y'all see that? Drea, the yep. model, she's pregnant by a basketball player. How old is he? He's like 20, 20, 24 something. or something. She's like, she's not 40, but she's, she's like 39, 39, 39 or something yeah. like that. Right. But well, yeah, but they people, the people. It's a little different, though, y'all. It's a little yeah. different. He's a millionaire, probably. 
Yeah, he's a, he plays yeah. a professional. Yeah, so he fine. He just keep bouncing that ball. That baby be taken care of, <laughs> right? But but right. but brother twenty three here. He just yeah. graduated from high school. He probably playing oh, on. Oh, that's my crazy. brother's age. I would actually yeah, yeah, be yeah. pissed. Yeah, he he just graduated from high school. He probably thinking about uh, hmm, what college should I go to? I would be pissed. She could really be his mom. Yeah. That's why the mama mad. She could be his mom. Yeah, literally. Yeah, a little. Yeah, uh, uh, straight wow. up. Wow. Oh, well. Dang. That's we praying for y'all. Hey, <laughs> Court, you know, we almost, uh, we close to 44. Mm. Mm. You're close. Be <laughs> careful. Oh. Oh. Not. <laughs> that story was for you, dog. That story for you. That story for you, dog. That is not for me. Be careful. Wow. I got some time until message. 44. You yeah. ain't got that much time, dog. Close to 44, y'all. I yeah, we are close to 44. Man, you better wake up. <laughs> close? We are close to 40. Bro, wake up, dog. It. This 30 yeah. 30 gone. 30s mm. are gone. It's gone. That we we over. yeah, that day over. Is for for us, that's gone for us. It's gone. So 44 yeah. is is it, you look Better it's wake close, up. It's closer than thirty. It's, it's exactly. Closer, yeah. It's closer it's close, than thirty. Yeah. So you got to be oh, like, yeah. you got to be like, all right, be careful, dog. Oh. Be careful. Wow. I, listen, I ain't got that problem. <laughs> if 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 shawty twenty three, that what rich men do. That's what you rich men do. If, yeah. If 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 I get listen I, now, granted, I ain't trying to get no twenty three year old girl pregnant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... But if you don't get your ugly. <laughs> 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 No, and then my I, other actor, yeah, because I feel it. It's about to start up. It's I'm about to start. No, it's okay. No, no. yeah, because hey, like, hey, but 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 in one world, in a in one world, it's accepted for a rich man. That's so true. Like myself that's, to do now. that, right? I see. And 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 men do that all the time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But but you. That ain't gonna that ain't gonna go over well. Yeah, especially not, especially when you get it off. You can't be no sentences on some. Yeah, you know my baby daddy is fourteen. <laughs> you keep saying you like it's not your story. <laughs> this is you. not my story. <laughs> this is nowhere near not my story. For you. Yeah. No. Wow. But here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying, Doctor Court. Because the older we get, mm -hmm. the more we start thinking more about ourselves mm -hmm. and that's why she got caught up. Mm -hmm. She was she's 44, so she's that not looking true. for signs. Never been married, never had kids. Never been married, never had so she's she's at the age where she's wondering if she will ever be loved, if mm -hmm. she will ever so she mm -hmm. didn't pay attention to the signs. Mm -hmm. And then guess what guess what happened to her that made her totally go blind? He 23. So when they had sex, yeah. oh she it was he, over. That was the first time in a long time she's had sex probably all night and she was able to teach him what she wanted mm -hmm. and he was like okay no problem mm -hmm. so uh, after that she 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 was like yeah he 32. she said she was blinded by love yeah no she wasn't she was blinded by she was blinded by <laughs> something else oh, all right well yeah, well, and the older you get, you start like kind of you, you start having these when you're young, you don't have these thoughts. But when you start getting older and you don't have kids and you've never been married, you will be surprised. You'll be surprised what you will do and you'll be surprised what you won't pay attention to. That's this true. is real because like a lot of that, a lot of that you've given yourself to career you've given absolutely it's like this is my Ooh. time i need i got the funds to be able I got to do absolutely I got, you see you know, what absolutely I'm saying? With, no, no, no and see, and see here's the thing though people we got we got to help these young cats i personally don't think one should be getting married until you are emotionally stable mm -hmm. mentally yes. stable mm -hmm. and you are financially stable mm -hmm. and typically you don't get you don't hit stability mm -hmm. Until your forties. Woo! Now watch this. People may not agree with that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, but consider this: I agree. your rent now yeah, yeah. is not what it was ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So if they, let's say Atlanta, mm -hmm. I don't recommend you come to Atlanta and date and try to be in this economy. So if you making thirty something thousand dollars a year, and you say I'm about to get married, what y'all about to make? Yeah. Think about what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
That's why people are moving in together now, like boyfriend and girlfriend. They are not like, I believe you to love my life. They're like, well, since we're going to be together, we love each other. Let's get from under this financial pressure. Yeah. So when you start putting money on the table. Mm -hmm. So I personally don't think if as as a person in my in my professional career, I navigate people through relationships. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm not going to be like, do you love each other? Do you this? I'm going to be like, how much money y'all got? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because here, if you the, the 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 stats say to live here comfortably, it's y'all. It used to be eighty five thousand just what four or five years ago. After the pandemic, it's now a hundred thousand dollars to live here for one person comfortably. That's crazy. So when our age is when you really should be like, okay, now I'm good enough yeah. to start considering. An, yeah. another person yeah that's true so at 44 Cor dr courtney's right she ready now mm -hmm. she didn't kill in the career a b c mm -hmm. and d now she's ready mm -hmm. but she's blinded by that yep that's just my opinion you don't that's have to true. run with that's, it that's that's real that's real, real. That's real but you, you and you want to you want to go through this ain't the show but <laughs> you want to you know People say that money is the number one reason for a divorce. It's not, but it is the top five reason. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I found out that if you have money, a lot of your problems can, is, they just kind of go over a little easier. Yeah. So if I got some problems at home, if I got some money, I can I can wipe my tears with some cash. Hello. Some cash. Right. Hello. Hello. All right. Aww. Money. Thank you for that, uh, Chris. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this taste test, man. <laughs> Shakira, what's up? Talk to us. So tonight's taste test has a twist. I don't hear you in the uh, microphone. Yeah. Do you hear me now? Testing, one, two, one, two. Ma'am? Oh, she's not. Okay, my bad. So. Oh. Well. Was she ever in, in my, in, in the ear? Got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, it's her fault. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so tonight's taste test has a twist. This is called, Whose Drink Is It? So each member of our cast and producer Brandy has chosen an energy slash hydration drink or brand for the group to taste. As you taste each drink, you will share your best guess of whose drink it is. Let's start with the Alani New. That's Brandy's. Oh yeah, yeah. Alani is Brandy. Alani is Brandy's. But I still want to taste the group. Yeah. And cherry slush. Cherry slush. Yep. She posts. Mm -hmm. She posts on her on her Instagram. Well, technically, y'all, we didn't start drinking it until she started drinking it. This is true. Yes. Yeah, so she we, put us. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This is good. This flavor is good. It tastes like a snow cone. It does. Mm. Are we right? Brandy's. It's Brandy's. What? No. Doctor Courtney. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Wait, we was loud. We were loud we and wrong. wrong. <laughs> That's why I was over here like this. Wow. This really? not. This is not Brandy's favorite energy drink. This is my favorite drink. This Brandy's thing because it looks like it's gotta be. Some, it's gotta be like, either this one. This? <laughs> this one look like Dez's. Wow. wow. Okay, come on. Okay, well, All right, keep going. Keep going. All right, keep going. All right. We'll so. go with the bang. All right. Okay. We gonna be up. Yeah. So four in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna be up all night with this. Straight up. This has to be um Dr. Gabe. So this is peach mango. Ooh. I don't like this. Me either. You nasty. This is uh strawberry. It's, it's dances. Yeah, you nasty. <laughs> it's nasty. This is nasty. In the door. It, yeah, it's my nasty. Y'all, these not good flavors. It's alright. Does this work it's though? Dancing. Does it work? Bang. Yeah. Bang, yeah, bang, no is, yeah, bang is cool. Really? I love yeah. bang. All right, let's keep going, y'all. We got to. Which one is this? This is Dr. Gabe. Yeah, Monster. Monster. We monster. all know that. <laughs> all right, yo, so can I be honest? Yeah. I just, when, when, when Shakira texted me, I just gave one. This is not really my favorite What's one. What's your favorite one? What's your favorite, your favorite one? one? I don't have a favorite one because I drink a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, it but, to be... this, but this, for a long time, right, this one was yeah. uh -uh. like your one. This right here uh -uh. is, this, this is what I drink, y'all. When I'm in recovery, Ooh, this is nasty. don't drink this. Don't ever uh, the band. Don't ever drink. Don't ever drink this. Monster Green. This is sick. That's nasty. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Why would you let us tell you? It's T, dog. It's T, dog. It's T. That just pissed me off. It's T, bro. That's C. It's T, man. I need to drink mine to kind of... All right, let's get going. This is this brandy. Oh, is it? No, this is... This is Shakira's. Shakira didn't do one. Brandy not real left. Okay, it's got to be Brandy then, because yours is this probiotic stuff. Yeah, she loves probiotics. What's this? And Brandy would choose something organic that's says real Man, Brandy, please. Take all of these and throw them in the trash. Brandy, please. Take all of these and throw them in the trash. Take uh-huh. Take everyone uh-huh. and throw it no. in the trash. Man, You'll this is see. horrible. No. This is like horrible. No, yeah, this is, this no, is, no. Yeah. It's like it tastes it's, like food. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's what colonizer. It's, it's, it's like orange yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah. That's, col- huh? that's sick, but you, you no. part colonizer too. Yeah, you are. Am I? That's what I Don't drink that. Boy. The best one yet. Everybody. Poppy, Poppy, guess whose is this? We know it's yours. Y'all don't like it? It tastes like orange seltzer water. Yeah. I'm cool with the orange. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what about it you, like Dr. Like Croix. <laughs> yeah, this is the best Tell one. Tell what it tastes like. Good for no. gut health. Gut health. Le Croix. The Dr. Pepper one is the best one. I think, so who had the best, in, who Me? Had the best drink? Not a court one. No, not a court one. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, I this won. Tastes like this tastes cold. like a snow Go cold. get this. Yeah. It'll get Go you get through all everything. They actually are fired a lot of stuff. They're pre, they're pre workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're gummies, good. everything. This they got a lot of good. Yeah. Whose brand is this? Who is this? A, is this <laughs> Kim yeah. K? No, it's not Kim. Yeah. K. She has a collab. She with has them, a collab. Okay, yeah, I thought. But this is dope. Thank you. All right, y'all. Shouts out for the taste test. <laughs> Shakira, give us our current events for the day. Yeah, we got to move through the show, man. We, we take it too long. Okay, sorry. I have two very quick ones, if I may. Hello, everyone. So, <laughs> President Biden and former President Trump have secured presidential nominations for the Democrat and Republican parties, respectively. Say it again, Shakira. I can't hear you. President Biden and former President Trump have secured presidential nominations for a Democrat and Republican parties. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Respectively. So, part two. Uh, next, according to a Fitbit study, 5 a.m. has been dubbed the worst time of day. A study of over- I could have told you that. <laughs> I ain't gonna have no study. I could have told you that. I ain't need no study for no 5 a.m. I could have asked me what the worst time of day is. 5 a.m. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. My, I, I love morning. That's like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I, I'm not gonna lie. I be like, mm-hmm, working mm-hmm, my mind. Well, it's actually not the worst time of day. A study of over 20 <laughs> 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 sleep patterns found that the lowest moods occurred at 5 a.m. compared to more cheer- cheerful moods at 5 p.m. Yeah, I don't who like happy I don't, at 5 p.m. Say it again, Dan. Who isn't happy at 5 p.m.? Who isn't happy? Yeah, they say you're more cheerful at 5 p.m. Yeah, that ain't true. I, I don't like 5 p.m. There's a dip in the middle. I, oh, you said, you said. She who, said who isn't happy at 5 at p.m. At 5 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everybody happy because you're off work. You off work. Hello. Yeah, what you talking about? That's something to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> 5 p.m., you off work. I 5 pre- a.m., you got to go. <laughs> I prefer. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I like 3 p.m. <laughs> you like, like 3 p.m.? Why, Shakira? That's so random. But that is actually the peak time of day. Midday. Yeah. I like, I like early morning. I like morning. morning. Person. Yeah, I get me up in the morning. morning yeah, person. you nobody need to talk to you. Look at no, you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a morning person. I am. A, um, really? No, 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 no. I'm. Um. I. If you want to, my. The time that I am best mm-hmm. functional mm-hmm. is from ten p.m. to five. Ooh, no, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. 10 p.m. I'm done. Too. I'm mad at 5 a.m. Nobody up. I just talked to myself. Now here's here's what here's why I'm saying that because this is gonna be weird. That's crazy. This is gonna be weird because I have not done music solely, mm-hmm. and I have another occupation. Mm-hmm. I am tired a lot, so I go to sleep. Right, mm-hmm. but if you put me in my musical element mm-hmm. I'm okay with doing it 
until we finish it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We've put, had rehearsals. Yeah. Re- rehearsals. Yeah. That's what we we did that for years. Yeah. We we ain't leaving until we'll leave at three, go and eat, eat before we go home and get home at five o'clock. And then Whoa. get up and go to work the next then day. Then get up and do what you gotta do. <laughs> that's y'all, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, that's what we did. I've, I've but because because our lives have changed, yeah, mm-hmm. we have to adjust to what we do. Yeah. But if you think about it, m- most of my business life is mm-hmm. the, the 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 um administration part or the CEO part of what I do mm-hmm. is during the day. But if you in ministry, you don't start until seven. You don't start. That's because the bulk of your ministry is available at seven. Yeah. So now any pastor that starts his day at seven PM, you got a small church. Mm. Yeah, that's wild. He if he has a big church, yeah. he starts in the morning. Mm-hmm. Because that's where the administration has to take place. That might yeah. make sense. Yeah. But ministry, sense. church, meetings, mm-hmm. um, services, mm-hmm. that starts at seven o'clock. Yeah. So what I did was as because I because I'm ambitious mm-hmm. and I'm not a small thinker, I didn't wait until the evening to start my day. Yeah. I wanted to build a bigger institution. Yeah. So I'm getting up with people who are corporate. Yeah. 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 So yeah. But if I had a choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I had a choice, it'll be me, it'll be the band, it'll be my singer. We'll get there at, at, at 10, boy, and rock out until we drench and sweat, then go get something to eat. Wow. Yeah, I'm done. But that day, that, I, think, I think that day over. They all old, day. too, now. They old. They all old. They all old. They all they 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 get tired at 7. Yeah, they tired. They all old. They be, I got to go, I got to go, I got to get my kids in the house in the bed. We can't make no music. All right, man. Mm. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, show your love for Dr. Courtney Smith for our black political stuff. <laughs> so, y'all, I have to, before we get started with the segment for today, we got to do an update on D.A. Willis, Fonnie Willis. Mm. Oh, yeah. On this whole situation. You know, we talked about it before. They were bringing her into question and in actually, you know, litigating this whole trial mm-hmm. against Trump, election interference, all this stuff because of her boot thing sure. that was on the trial, Nathan Wade. Yep. And so she has been allowed to stay on the case. Yep. Mm. But with one condition. With one condition. Either she had to leave. Or he got to go. Or Bay had to leave. Yeah. Oh. It was one of the Bay other. Left. And guess what? Yeah, yeah. He had Bay to left. Yeah, he got to go. He got to go. I'm talking about he got to go. You ain't that important. Uh-uh. No, I'm stupid. I'm not. Well, no, that's right. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't that. You know well, but. So, wow, so he had to go. So. You know, I wanted to ask the band, I wanted to ask y'all, mind mm. you, she has an election coming up in the fall. Mm-hmm. And she has two people that's running against her. Mm-hmm. One that's like a MAGA, like, uh, like serious. And then, of course, another another Democrat. And that's mm-hmm. never good if you're an incumbent and you have somebody running against you mm-hmm. in your own party. What do y'all think? Do y'all think she's going to stay in office? You think she's going to be ousted? You think, what do y'all think? What do y'all think, Dan? Nope, it's done. Yeah, I don't think nope. they're going to. Nope, 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 nope. You hear me. This is just my opinion. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert. I'm not even smart concerning this topic. However, I do understand people. If you are, Af- hear me, ladies, specifically my, my black sisters, love you so much. You cannot get away with things that white men can get away with. Yeah. Ooh, if, this, if this was a white man and it. If this was, it, listen, if, if, if this was a black man, it would have been something, but he could be reelected based upon his fruit, what he's done. Mm-hmm. A black woman cannot be caught in an affair. I hear an echo. Y'all hear the echo? I mm-hmm. hear that too. A black woman cannot be caught in this type of situation mm-hmm. and think that a system that's governed by mm-hmm. Watts. Yeah. By what? <laughs> by Watts. Watts. <laughs> The Watts gave, she, she's the first black, she's the first black woman. Mm-hmm. Hear me, think about, you have to think about your consequences. Mm-hmm. She's the first black woman. America mm-hmm. does not want women running. Oh, yes, no. Oh. Okay. Absolutely. So get this, can I say something? This is just my opinion. She messed it up for the women. Jeez. Jesus. It, it'll be, a, it'll be, in my opinion, it'll be another <laughs> 15 years before they allow mm-hmm. That's crazy. Uh, you understand know what I'm saying? So, so ridiculous. now the the, the now if, now here's another one. Let me throw this out. If I, if we go out, no, I'll say I'll, I'll say I'll just say I don't think so. Okay. What you think? I think that she's getting a lot of support. Yep. 
Um, I think I do think that she's getting a lot of support, but I think there might be some moderates who maybe they would have swung, you know, her way. They might say maybe not because of I, I mean, because the judge, Judge Scott McAfee, who oversaw this whole you know situation, he gave like a scathing, you know, situation about, you know, the, mm -hmm. the yeah. whole. So her judgment is being called into question. Yep. And as a DA, for your judgment to be called into question, that's a huge thing. And you're black and you're a woman. So told you, she's the professional now, yeah. but I'm just yeah. telling you, uh, she the professional. It'll be tough, man. Yep. And I'm telling yep. you, y'all, and it's going to be difficult for another woman to come. Mm -hmm. And it, it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. And to your point, you talked about just the agenda against the black woman. Did you know that there is a black woman owned agency that was raising capital for black people who were starting, who were trying to start businesses? There was a whole group that drew up litigation to sue this group that were basically trying to get money for black business owners. There is literally an agenda because they, people see the numbers. Black women are the most educated. Sure. You know, did y'all know that about yourselves? Absolutely. <laughs> and so, you know, you start you seeing the numbers, and th those on that side, they play the long game. They play chess. We play checkers. Mm -hmm. And so they are they're off in meetings planning um, laws and legislation for forty and fifty years from now, where we're infighting and talking about stupid stuff. Sure. So you know that's another story for another day. So I did want to just give a quick. Brief. And, and Dr. Mm -hmm. Court, I want to yeah. add this too. I think what we have to consider is what white America will do with this. Um, in interestingly enough, I was watching a uh, podcast today mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with this situation, and they brought it up. It said, you see what happened with that lady in Georgia? Mm -hmm. Right? So watch this. This situation hit national news. Yeah. Do you know what happened with um, uh, Black Lives Matter? Oh, we yes. raised all we raised millions of dollars yes. and black women stole it and went and got houses. So we just added another situation mm -hmm. to the to the reason why they're going to say this is why black women shouldn't be in charge. Because exactly. mm -hmm. every time somebody wants to uh, disprove our credibility, they'll bring up you see what happened with Black Lives Matter. Absolutely. Now they're about to bring up this situation. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is, ladies. You you don't just advocate for, and I, I'm not going to get on the rant on this, but don't just advocate for we need to be married. Mm -hmm. Go That's beyond it. that and have some character when you get in these powerful positions. That's it. There's so much. It's so much more to life than my man, my man, my man, and why men ain't this and so forth. There's a system that if you do one thing to piss that system off, you hurt women for gen you you hurt the next two three generations of women that can possibly be in your particular seat or role yeah keep going Doc. did you want me to go on to the next yeah one? enjoy yourself oh y'all so i don't know <laughs> if y'all saw this in the news y'all okay because it's caused like this huge debate so trump was at a campaign rally in ohio he was making a special appearance for campaigning for somebody who's running up there. Mm -hmm. So he was talking about the auto industry because there's this whole situation about electric cars taking over the, you know, the market and jobs mm -hmm. are going to other countries and all this other stuff. And so he made this comment, mm -hmm. Brandy, if you could play the clip. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. If this election, if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. Does that make sense? I don't think you're going to have another election in this country. If we don't win this election, I don't think you're going to have another election or certainly not an election that's meaningful. And we better get out or we better. I actually say that the date, remember this, November 5th, I believe it's going to be the most important date in the history of our country. I believe that.
Okay, y'all. So the comment that has made waves everywhere is he said, and I quote, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. So his team, are, they're, they're basically saying, hey, you know, we're taking it out of context. You know, it's going to be a bloodbath for the auto industry if he's not elected because he's going to advocate for the auto industry. But of course, Democrats and others are saying, no, no one is taking this out of context because you have a history of inciting violence, i.e., January 6th, yeah. let's storm the Capitol where yes. people were killed and people were maimed and now people are actually going to jail because of it. So my question, oh, and actually, of course, we saw that he went on to say, um, I don't think you're going to have another election in this country if we don't win this election. Certainly not an election that's meaningful. So my question is, do you think that this is a message to his base? You know, basically, burn the whole thing down if I don't win? Or do you think that it's taken out of context? Now, before um, we answer that question, I do want to ask you, you know, do you think that his re his rhetoric actually translates into violence? I want to give you some numbers before we answer the question, before the band answers the question, before the, um, or the team here answers the question. An FBI report on hate crime statistics reported that hate crime surged nearly 20% during the administration of President Donald Trump. 20%. The report also shows that hate motivated murders, largely committed by white supremacists, spiked to their highest number in 28 years. In fact, reported hate crimes with racial or ethnic bias jumped the day after President Trump won the 2016 election. It jumped from 10 to 27, according to an analysis of FBI hate crime statistics. There were more reported hate crimes on November 9th than any other day in 2016. And the daily number of such incidences exceeded the level on election day for the next 10 days. Now, mind you, Charlottesville had happened, all of this rhetoric that he had had during his entire election. So my question is, should we take this lightly? Does this translate into violence? What do y'all think? Did he mean it that way? Or was, it, was he really talking about the auto industry? Oh, all right. So I think <laughs> Trump president, sir, <laughs> I don't, hear me carefully. President Trump, former President Trump won off of personality and not preparation. Oh my God. So he didn't get, he didn't take the platform intending to say that. Mm. He didn't take the platform intending to say yeah. that. That's not how he is. Mm -hmm. However, his personality, mm -hmm. his charisma, and his under and his awareness of who his base is, mm -hmm. he speaks mm -hmm. their language. Mm -hmm. And it sacrifices other mm -hmm. ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. yeah. But can I say this, Doc? Mm -hmm. That's how he got in office the first time. Absolutely. And you are a fool to try to do another tactic if you're trying to get in office again. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now, I want us to be very careful when we understand this. He's saying what his base wants to hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care about what we think about what he says. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gets in the he's, doing, he's, he's doing what has worked for him. President Obama said, yes, we can. President Trump yeah. says, let's make America great again 
and uses the the tactic of he he's he's talking to a group of people that's been underground mm -hmm. for the last 10 15 years all he does is he's he has a way of just getting his army to emerge again mm -hmm. and what's so interesting is that he's not going to fight with them oh no yeah he's just using he's just using them to get in office so when 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 america when they do what they now here here's the other part i want to say about it but this time y'all i don't know if the black community is going to care as much that is that's why i said all that but i want to say this i don't think the the black community is going to care as much I think this is a frivolous conversation because you can play this for a million black people and they're going to just say, you, you got a group of people, I can't believe they want him in office. You, you, you just saying foolish stuff. And then you got another group of people that's saying, who cares? Just get back in office so that we can experience the transferring of wealth because when you get in, black people have only concerned about, have only ever been concerned about money. That's it. And so can I be honest? Mm -hmm. I believe 75% of black Americans going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go ahead and fix this economy. Absolutely. I don't think we're going to respond the same way we responded the first, first time. time. Mm -hmm. yes. I and I don't think you're going to see as much violence this time. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget this. During that time of the insurrection, right? Mm -hmm. Go to any gun store in America. What you talking about? Long guns and handguns were literally taken off the shelf. They were, gone. They were bought out. Mm -hmm. And get this, and it wasn't by white folk. Black folk came in because we, I did. Mm -hmm. I, I went and stocked up on guns because I was like, yo, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to respond that way this time. You know why? Because you're going to have blacks and whites in the room saying, I voted for him too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Black, hear me. And I'm going to say this. I don't care what anybody says. Black America, there are certain, especially young blacks, are starting to say, hey, how do we get wealth? And when you find out the president that's going to assist in black wealth, mm -hmm. that's who we're going to vote for. Yep. That's who we're going to vote for. Get this. They even, they even sold this agenda that when he came out with his shoes, that was for black America. Mm -hmm. here's, what's, here's the truth. Black America, what, that, that shoe was not marketed to us. Right. Number one. Number two, look at the price. It was too expensive for us. Mm -hmm. That was not an agenda to win black America. That was an agenda to win young America. Mm. And young America and rich America and black people that care about money, they're going to vote for him. Black went, oh, and you think that it, I'm only talking about black men. Watch the percentage of black women that vote for him this, this next election. Watch. That. Y'all's money has increased the last four years. Black women will vote for him at a at a high number. Last listen, that last term, black men voted for him. Yes. Watch how many black women vote for him this time. I've seen many, many, many black women going out to really I, I don't mean no, I don't know how I know this stuff. This is true. It's, it's the yeah. truth. Uh, I yeah. I don't know, how, wow. Chris. I don't know how I be knowing this stuff. It just be zooming in my head, dog. I'm trying to tell you, what this conversation don't mean nothing. People are not going to care. Here's why: because people expect that from him. Most people are saying, "Just fix, fix the it. economy." And you know, yes. Dr. Gay, and I'm. I think I, I'm not going to say anything else, but I think. I do think that many black people are going to vote for him. I think that many black women, and I do think that he is going to win. Mm -hmm. And that is difficult for me to say as a Democrat. Um, <laughs> I think, I do think that he's going to win. What I am worried about, and I know that he didn't get into office 
with the mindset of I'm just going, you know, put out, you know, oh, shoot, do this. But I think that historically, 1939 was the beginning of World War II. And during that time, no one took Hitler serious. No one took Hitler serious. No one took his rhetoric seriously when he invaded Poland. They said, oh, he just invaded Poland. and He's going to leave it there. He told other countries, I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to invade you. And he ended up invading them. What I'm afraid of is that people are going to continue getting behind him. And he's going to, as you said, continue raising up this army. He does not have control over them. I don't, I mean, he does, he doesn't. And I think, I think that, I personally think that if we do not take a look at this, if we don't, I think that it has the potential to turn into something. Doc, unsafe. listen, no, nah, listen, and I, and Doc. I'm looking at history. I don't, I'm I don't looking know about at, that, Doc. I don't know about that, Doc. <laughs> Doc, I don't know about that, Doc. And let me tell you why. Okay. We, I, I, please, please, don't take this the wrong way. Okay. We now have a common we have some common oppos oppositions mm -hmm. blacks and whites now have common oppositions mm -hmm. and that is called illegal immigrants right okay now if you don't know anything about what's going on as it relates to illegal immigrants or however you want to phrase that mm -hmm. Go and do the research. Mm -hmm. When you realize that them crossing the borders, see, see, remember, get this doc. He he's trying to build a wall, <laughs> and he and then crime rate is going up, and. What you're going to see is employment is going to drop mm -hmm. because a group of people are taking jobs. Mm -hmm. Once black America realizes that, because whites don't want them here. Blacks don't care because we, 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 have, we, 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 we are, are, we ain't from here. But once you realize that there is something that's threatening all of our livelihood, mm -hmm. you'll be surprised how we start coming together. But but see, that's what happened. That's what happened in Europe in the 1930s. The common enemy were the Jews. And so all these different people started coming together and saying, OK, they are the common enemy. They're the ones that helped, helped to start World War I. I completely agree with you. I am just afraid of what may come of this rhetoric. I'm afraid of history literally repeating itself. And that's something that historians and people are just really thinking about and contemplating. I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm afraid that history is going to repeat itself, the level of violence. I don't know. I think, I think as we become more educated, I think we're going to be looking for President Trump to solve some of these problems. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the violence. I do think that people are nervous. Yes. Absolutely. And it's Definitely not, nervous. and it's, and yeah. get this, but this time it's not about I'm nervous concerning white people. Mm -mm. I think we have a, it's, there's something else that we are commonly saying. Yes what's what's the state of america yeah mm -hmm. and we're looking to america saying hey what we you believe you can what you gonna do mm -hmm. and we don't trust president biden mm -hmm. that's what i think I, I don't know if will violence happen absolutely but i don't know if we're gonna see it how we thought we were gonna see it and how we did see it mm -hmm. president trump's first uh, election first mm -hmm. i think you may see a lot of viral videos of blacks and whites committing violence towards another group of people, mm. not as much as one another. Mm -hmm. Th that's just what I, mm -hmm. yeah. E either way, it's not right. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is black people have never considered any other ethnicity other than white people. Right. 
And so true. what I'm saying, you're going to see some cahooting going on I in agree. this next, you know. But anyway, I, ain't, I don't know nothing about none of this. You, you the one, dog. No, but yeah, you the like one, dog. What you're saying is absolutely correct. Man, y'all show your love for Dr. Court this yeah, man. That's right, it's questionable. Man, we late, dog. Ooh. We we late. We real late. You want to skip me? Go right to you. you no, know. nah, go ahead. Do it, do it, do it. I'll skip my part. Oh. Shakira doesn't know. <laughs> no. Are you crazy, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and she does it, but she does it. It's subtle, but it has so much authority. Yeah, it's she looks silent. At, it's just like silent. It's like, 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 are you stupid? That's yeah. what she looked at. Oh. Look, are you stupid? Yeah. You're like, no. Why yeah. you do that? <laughs> and I submit to that. I'm mm. cracking up. Because you just scared me. <laughs> That's all right. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead, Dan. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's all up. Okay. It's time to dive into It's Questionable, the segment which explores the latest <laughs> oh headlining God. news. Okay. The 55th NAACP Image Awards streamed yesterday on BET. Fantasia, Taraji, and Damson Idris are Thank some you. of the people that won awards, mm -hmm. but social media is up in a frenzy about Mr. Usher Raymond. Oh. During Usher's acceptance speech, he seemingly <laughs> thanked the devil for his award, and then he made a Jesus. quick correction by saying... <gasps> The depths of my soul. He but sure we did. Know what he Jesus. Really he sure did. Yep. We saw that Usher was named in a recent Diddy scandal, and there was photos of him hanging Hold out. Hold on, Des. Hold on. Say it again so, without our commentary. Say it again what he mistakenly said. Yes, yeah, so when he was getting the award, he said, and I want to thank the dev from the depths of my soul. Yeah. <laughs> That was exactly how it was. Mm. So, so people are saying that he was about to say, I want to thank the, the devil. devil. Yes. Right. Because Ooh. the depths of my soul don't even make sense. It wasn't a good transition. It wasn't a good transition. So we did see that Usher was named in a recent Diddy scandal, and there was photos of him hanging with a known industry witch. To the band, do we think that Usher sold out to the industry, or is he still pure? Well, well, hold on. Hold, wait a hold. Wait a hold. Wait a hold. Wait here, here, listen, to me. listen to me. Des, this is for everybody. When I saw it, I saw Christian common, uh, 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 commentators having an issue with this, right? Mm -hmm. And I asked this question. They didn't hear me because I was on my phone. Right. Yeah, okay. I was, yeah, I was just yeah, talking to the screen. Yeah, to I was talking phone. to the screen. I was just talking to the phone. Right. And I said, when have we ever expected or heard, when have we ever heard or expected us should be Christian? Never. That's true now. Never. You would never say I this. Never. That's never. Yeah. So, so, so watch this now. This is going to sound weird. It's going to sound weird. In America, he has a right to thank the devil. Mm. Just like I have a right to thank Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. Yeah, yeah. And just like somebody else has a right to thank Buddha or Allah. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out, we tried, to, this is what we do in America. We make America Christian. Yep. America is not, not Christian. It's not Christian. It is not Christian. America is not the church. Absolutely. Stop expecting people. Usher is, let him worship the, the devil. devil if he want to. Yeah, I'm about to say. Worship the devil, sir. Enjoy. Worse of the devil. Worse, do that and, and get this. I would, I would admonish him to not cut himself off. Tell it, say it, yeah. so we'll know. Yeah. Be bold. About be, bold. Yeah. be bold. Be bold. Be <laughs> bold. And that, hear me. And the lesson for the lesson from that is, and for every believer who is an athlete, who is an entertainer, who is an actress, who whatever, or actor, whatever, get up there and call your God's name. I Tell mean, these people I'm here because yes. of my faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Because they they feed us this stuff, and we only thing we do is post about it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. No, stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Get on social media or prepare to take your speech or whatever it is, and say Jesus, Jesus' name loud and proud. That's the that's the powerful part about America. We don't have to hide our faith. Yeah. We don't have to hide. Don't have to hide mm -hmm. it. So so don't let's not talk about it as if uh, Usher was supposed to be Christian. Mm -hmm. He never said he was. He never said he was. So Come say on. what you're going to say, sir. And then, but I am mad. And he got a church name. <laughs> he got a church name. <laughs> Talking about the devil. Wild. That's the only problem I got with it. I don't have no problem with you saying the devil. I got a problem with you saying you, you, your name is a church name. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that is That's what we keep doing. Let folk have church names. <laughs> Let 
So he needs to change his name. Change your name, and yeah, sir. Yeah. Stealing our time. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we got ushers. Usher boy. And our ushers don't let you come in the church and people up there praying. Now. Yeah. Don't do that, walking around in prayer. And us don't let you chew gum in church. You got to get peppermint. Yeah. <laughs> Make your breast Y'all don't know nothing about that. Peppermint. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> and Tasia had a wonderful speech, by the way. All right, great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go to commercial. Let me make some money real quick, y'all. Yo, look, everybody, I need you to do me a favor. I'm trying to get rich and famous. Trying to get rich. Do me a favor. Leave a review. If this is your favorite podcast, which I know it is. I know it is. I need you to go. It's at the bottom there, somewhere around the left or right, and leave a review. I don't care if it's good, bad. I don't care if it's negative. Say something, please. Then, so you can always be notified that I am live, press the subscribe button now. We're trying to make money out here so we can continue to give you some great content. I love you so much, and I know you love me too. Press the subscribe button. Let's make some money. Yeah, typically God doesn't choose our destiny partners. And I think we need to understand that and make it very plain and simple. God doesn't choose our destiny partners. The greatest gift that God has given every human being is the, uh, is the gift of free will. You choose your destiny partner. The problem with that is this, y'all. We don't ask God who we should partner with for our destiny. We, mm -hmm. What we do is we choose, and then we say, God, come and bless this. And so did you hear what I said on that? Mm -hmm. We typically choose what we want, and then we invite God to bless. I don't think you can choose a destiny partner without inviting or inquiring of God first. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of just give you a suggestion that if in fact you want to have a destiny partner, you must first be convinced of your own destiny. Jesus, you don't get to choose partners first and then pursue destiny secondly. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't work like that. So I want to give you several things that you can do because I'm behind time and most people took up my time in our, in our segment. Mm. And so um, I want to give you some advice on how to choose <laughs> destiny partners. Pay attention to this, y'all. Pay attention. If you want to have a destiny partner, if you want to choose properly, number one, be serious about your own destiny before you're serious about partners. That's good. Before, wow. you, before you're serious about destiny partners be serious about your destiny how do i become serious about my destiny i have to wake up every single day in pursuit of my own purpose in pursuit of what i believe god has destined me to do number two don't be afraid to say no pay attention to this no is risky but it can save you time and heartbreak That's good. Wow. you cannot have destiny and you're afraid to disappoint you cannot have destiny, but being a, but be afraid to disappoint. It is okay. Now, hear me. I want to say this again. Saying no is risky. That means what I mean by that is it, you could be it could be another two years before you have partnership. Mm -hmm. But in those two years, I may not have partnership, but I may have peace because I said no two years prior. Wow. So if you're going to have destiny, it's okay to say, you know what? I am so serious about my destiny. I don't think this is the person for me. It is okay to look at someone and say, you are a good person, but I don't know if you're good for me. Yeah. Number three. Look for people with similar value systems. We don't say that much in this culture. Nobody talks about value systems. Values. What are your values? I want you to carefully consider your own value systems. Here are some exam examples of value. Value, core values, wealth, family, freedom, justice, equality, creati creativity, health, physical fitness, social change, ministry, people, giving, faith. We have to have similar values. One of the things that's uh, important to me is ministry. One of the things that's important to me is faith. One of the things that's important to me is given one of the things i found in uh, my pastoral ministry or my pastoral career is one of the things that can frustrate destiny is when a person does not share the same values of faith as you do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when a person does not share the same values of giving for example you may be a tither you believe in tithe and you have a heart to give mm -hmm. you have a heart to bless god's house you have a heart to bless god's people but you have a partner that does not agree with that well, when you are married, your funds become one. Yeah. And so that can frustrate. You may believe in harvest and overflow. They may believe in saving and don't see the and they don't see the importance of investing in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Now you're going so this is a strain, here it is, on your destiny. Wow. Yeah. 
So I want to take the dating phase of a relationship to investigate not just how much money you have, but do we share similar values? Wow. Number four, look for people who make you better. Mm. Look for people who make you better. We got to go, but look for people who make you better. So I want you to examine the relationships you're in, whether you are in a girlfriend, boyfriend relationship, whether you're in a friendship relationship, what, what does that doesn't matter. Have you become a better individual while you've been in this environment? Mm. The friends that you have, have you become a better person because of them? The, the, the romantic relationship that you're in, have you become a better individual? Mm. Hello? Have you become better? Have you improved? Have you grown? Have you started to set higher goals? Have you been more aware of yourself? Have you had to come to a, a reality that you are not as healthy as you thought you were? And it was because of this relationship that helped you see, wow, I have some improvement. Have you become better? There's no way you're going to have a destiny partner and you are not becoming better because of them. Number five, do not choose people out of fear. Jesus. Don't choose people out of fear. Don't take, listen to me, with all due respect, don't take leftovers. I'll just marry this person that's available because I'm afraid that I won't ever be married. I'll just take this people, this group of people, because they accept me for who I am. I don't, I'm afraid I won't ever find authentic, genuine people. So I'll just take whatever. Never choose people out of fear. Choose people out of purpose. Number six, here's one. Pray. If I want to choose a destiny partner, pray. Don't pray after you choose. Pray before you choose. Lord, whatever your God is, is this the person you have destined for me to be in relationship with? Here's what I've experienced. When it's time to pray about a relationship, you're typically afraid. Because you don't want to know the answer. Is anybody on the other side of this? You don't want to know the answer now. <laughs> Pray and invite God in every decision that you make, including your relationships. That's not it. And then wait on the man to respond. Whoa. Our God does speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number seven, destiny is developed and people have to as well. Mm. Destiny is developed. You are not ready for your destiny right now. You're developing into it. So do not expect people to come already made and ready. Be willing to walk with people as they grow and develop. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You develop into destiny, which leads me to my number eight. Get rid of your list. Get rid of your list because God has a way of giving us something that we never expected. And your list puts God, puts God in a box. But if I have a list, I don't give people room to develop. So she got to be this. She got to be that. She got to be that. Uh, our men's session was similar to that uh, last week. She got to be this. She got to be that. She got to be. 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 No, that's not de destiny. Destiny is developed. So give people the same grace that you want people to give to you. You are developing. You ain't all the way there. <laughs> so it's okay with having people, friends, relationships where people are not all the way there. But if you have a list, you won't allow people to develop. You will expect perfection. And here's a problem. You want God to send you perfection, but they're partnered with your imperfections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
Number nine, destiny is clear, not confusing. So get rid of roller coaster relationships. <laughs> destiny is clear, it's not confusing. God doesn't hear this. God is very clear. So if I'm in a relationship that's up and down, up and down, up and down, that is a clear sign that that's not a destiny partner because God is not a God of confusion. Roller coaster relationships are distractions to destiny. Number nine or last destiny. Here's the one that you're going to choke up on. Destiny is not attached to lust. Help the people. <laughs> Bro, if all you can say is she got a big booty, that's not a destiny, <laughs> destiny partner. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> destiny is attached to purpose, meaning, Good. fulfillment, mm -hmm. yeah. discipline, joy, happiness. So if the only thing that person is good for is feeding your lustful cravings, that's not a destiny partner. That's a distraction. Welcome to Band With Y'all. I'm cute, though. <laughs> y'all know I ain't lying. Yes, sir. Y'all, welcome to Band With Y'all. It's about to be phenomenal. It's about to go down, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all, thank you for tuning in the band with us. We sorry. We sorry we held you too long. 10 o'clock. We had fun. Yeah, I had fun. fun. I had fun. I had fun. <laughs> I enjoyed y'all. drinks. That's what it was. Kept us up. We're going to be up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept us up. Drink. We're talking all night. Y'all tune in Monday. Have a good week.